What is up guys? We are back again with another video and in today's video we are going to effectively take another step on from the last video in which we turn outcome goals into behavior goals, right? So today's video is about auditing your behaviors, right? Because this is effectively the next step of what you need to do to ensure you are actually successful in your goals and also to, you know, reconfirm with yourself that the goals you have set are actually things that you believe in or rather things that you actually want to achieve right because again as i said in the last video you can say you want something but unless you act in a way that actually reflects that it's just words at the end of the day right so what do i mean by auditing your behaviors okay now this again is one of those things that is a little bit harder for beginners to do because you don't really know what bad behaviors are you don't really know what good behaviors are yes you might have some fundamental understanding of good nutrition or perhaps you have an idea of what good nutrition is perhaps you're learning about you know training technique you know how to set up a training program perhaps you bought one of our ebooks or something like that um, and you have that kind of set up and you're, you're really trying to optimize that right but again, you, you're not really sure of all of the ins and outs. So it can be very hard to audit your behaviors. However, the sooner you start doing this, the easier it becomes. Because effectively, again, everyone has to start somewhere. We all were beginners once. And once you start doing it, you get better at doing it. It's pretty straightforward. I don't think anyone would disagree with that, you know? So what do I mean by auditing your behaviors, right? So again, we've, we've set an outcome goal. Again, whatever it is, lose 10 pounds, five kilos, whatever the outcome goal is, right? And then we've set up, we've translated that into behaviors that we want to engage in, right? Again, that could be getting 10,000 steps per day, dialing in your nutrition. Maybe it's just you want to get your breakfasts perfect first, and then you're going to start working on other things, right? But from that, after that, you can start auditing the behaviors that you're already engaged in because while i do really like bringing in behaviors rather than trying to focus on like negative behaviors you're already doing and you know axing those because that can be quite hard effectively there comes a point where you do have to start looking at the behaviors you're already engaged in or the behaviors you do right and quite often you'll see people talking about this and they'll be like oh you have to be more present right and effectively what they mean is you have to be more conscious of the choices you make on a daily basis now this again is quite hard because you probably are on a, a kind of automation or a, these, these choices are automated it's just like you get this stimulus you do this response perhaps you get stressed in work and you know you reach for the, the Kit Kat or the Mars bar or whatever it is right so it's an automated response and you just do it without thinking right and effectively you need to become more present you need to be more conscious of those little habit loops that are occurring and the behaviors that you engage in right so you need to audit what you're doing now again extremely hard to do and even though I'm telling you that you need to do this and even though I'm kind of giving you some sort of framework to start thinking about this you're still going to find it challenging so the first thing with all of this auditing behavior stuff you need to realize that that like first of all perfection doesn't exist you're never going to have the perfect diet the perfect training plan all of that stuff it, it's it's just doesn't exist right so keep that in mind and then secondly you're going to fail right you're you're going to mess up you're going to mess up repeatedly and you're gonna keep doing it, and you're gonna keep doing it, right? And that's perfectly okay, because even the most advanced, you know, lifters, dieters, whatever, they still mess up occasionally, right? But it's it's from the messing up that you actually learn, and you can make better advancements, advancements going forward, right? So again, you're going to fail, keep that in mind, right? But again, going back to auditing your behaviors, again, you have to look at your day and go, everything you do, you have to look at that and go, is that something that is contributing to my goals? Like you have some sort of, we'll call it a value statement, you want to lose five kilos, or you want to gain more muscle, or you want to, like I was saying in the last video, I want to get a blue belt, you know? And I can say that, and it can be like, yeah, cool, that's fine, but I have to look at the behaviors I engage in, and then actually assess whether they actually align with what I say I'm trying to do right and this can even go down into stuff that you might think is somewhat non-consequential you know like again you might be like oh well on my free time i just scroll through instagram right but you could effectively 
think of all of the actions you engage in in, on, in a daily or in a day or on a daily basis and you could effectively become ruthlessly efficient towards actually achieving your goal right so again i could be flicking through instagram um whatever whenever i'm bored or whatever you know but i could use that time more effectively towards my goal if i'm saying i want to be you know better at brazilian jiu-jitsu i want to get my blue belt then i could be using that 5 10 15 minutes whatever i am wasting it on instagram looking up Brazilian jiu-jitsu techniques looking up and refining my understanding of the the game you know so again it's you you have to look at what you're doing on a daily basis and actually audit whether that's actually helping you or perhaps even hindering you achieving your goal now a lot of stuff is just going to be inconsequential it's 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 just neutral you know it's not helping you it's not hindering you however you can still look at that and try to assess whether that is a good use of your time when it could be spent on other things that are helping you achieve your goal right so we'll look at it you have to look at all the uh, behaviors that you engage in that are positive you look at them you go through your day and go okay cool i'm getting up on time i'm planning my meals i'm you know all of the good behaviors that are leading to the outcome that you want you've already uh, assessed your your outcome you've already translated them into behaviors that are relevant for you and you're looking at your day and you're like okay so i'm doing those the next step then is to look at you know negative things or things that are potentially taking away from you achieving your goals so behaviors that you engage in on a daily basis where perhaps you aren't you know fully present perhaps you are cheating on your diet perhaps you are not being as active as you can be you're choosing to you know take the lift instead of the stairs all those little things and again yeah you don't have to be completely anal about this but the the more or the more quickly you want to achieve your goal then the, you probably have to get more dialed in with this stuff right and this is this is kind of something that uh, a lot of people in the beginning focus on the wrong thing things and they eventually find a pattern of eating a pattern of training all that kind of stuff that allows them to achieve their goals while also living their life and not having to focus on everything however as a beginner you probably still have to focus on everything to understand what is actually important and what are the little things that are important that you think oh no they don't exist or they they don't matter like perhaps you're like having a bite of a, a chocolate bar here or a square of chocolate a sweet or whatever and you're like oh well it's only like it's very small it doesn't matter but again those things add up and they do actually matter right whereas things that you know you, you might not think or you might think matter a lot don't really matter a, a huge amount like you might be like oh i need to time my meals perfectly and they need to be you know bang on and it's like like it's realistically at the end of the day it's the the total the magnitude of calories that you eat relative to the magnitude of calories that you expend on a daily basis that's actually leading to results not if you had your post workout shake within 5 minutes of finishing your workout you know so again as a beginner it is hard to understand and know what to focus on and effectively you just have to become hyper focused on everything and then start refining down and realizing okay some of these things matter some of these things don't but the process starts with you actually auditing your behaviors right and while i've mentioned beginners a lot of times in this video this does actually apply to more intermediate and advanced lifters right because generally what happens is people start off as that beginner and they they literally are focusing on everything they don't know what is what you have to focus on what behaviors are good what behaviors are bad it takes them a while to figure things out and then they kind of settle into a rhythm where it's like okay i know these are the important things once i tick these boxes i'm good to go right and i know these are also habits that if i engage in them it leads to poor results you know so again they have a, a somewhat firm grasp of the behaviors to engage in to get results and a somewhat firm grasp of the behaviors to not engage in so that they don't uh, detract from their results right so they have that kind of nail however then as you get into the intermediate and advanced stages like other things start mattering more than just what would get you into those ranks right uh, for example you might be a beginner and you're just banging out reps you're in the gym you're like cool i can literally just add weight to the bar every single week and i'm i'm progressing it's 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 awesome right and um, but then as soon as you get into some sort of range that is plateauing you know the the weight might go up a little bit and then go back down and you don't actually have the behaviors then to uh, facilitate increased recovery or rather you don't really know what to do to train or eat or 
you know, uh, recover so that when you are in that intermediate stage, you can keep progressing tr through that intermediate stage into an advanced stage, you know? You don't have those habits because you've never built them. Because again, like, yes, you built the habits that were successful or were needed to be successful as a beginner, but that doesn't mean that the habits that were needed to be successful as a beginner are the same habits that, needed, that are needed to be successful as an intermediate. So again, you might have to, again, audit your behaviors, look into what you're doing. Like, yes, it might've been perfectly fine for you to get six hours of sleep, you know, while you were a beginner and still progress. But now that you're lifting heavier weights, now that you're increasing the, the recovery demands of your body, you know, that's maybe not the best approach for you, you know, maybe you do have to really focus in on stuff that, you know, you could put on the back burner, like your recovery, you know, maybe you're like, okay, I actually do have to focus on certain aspects of my diet that I've been letting slip because I could get away with it, you know, so again, as moving from that intermediate then into that advanced, you even more have to focus on them. And again, like recovery, sleep, that kind of stuff becomes more and more important to actually facilitating your continued progress you know so again you're gonna have to constantly throughout your your lifting training whatever experience uh, and lifetime you're gonna have to constantly audit your behaviors audit what you're doing look at what is successfully leading to the results that you want look at what is potentially detracting from what you want and then be honest with yourself and what i mean by that is you know maybe there are some habits that and behaviors that you engage in that you're simply just not willing to you know, give up, even though they aren't necessarily helping you towards your, your actual goals. They're not actually, you know, uh, they, they might even potentially be detracting from your goals, but they're habits, you know, that you're just not willing to give up. They're behaviors that you're just not willing to, to give up, you know? So again, you have to be honest with yourself and effectively throughout your lifetime, you're going to have to audit your behaviors and see what's successful and see what is not successful and constantly tweak things. So what I'm suggesting here is as a beginner or as someone who is in their first one to five years of lifting, because I would say that's probably a beginner to maybe just into an intermediate uh, stage, you, you effectively have to be on a constant lookout of auditing your behaviors, looking at what's successful, looking at what's detracting from what you want to achieve, and then uh, putting yourself back on the right track. Now, again, this is where like someone like a good coach would come in and potentially be able to point you in the right direction to be like, this, these are the things that you need to focus on. Let's focus on them. And you don't need to think of all the other things. But if you're coaching yourself, or you're training yourself, you're just going to have to effectively look at everything and have a really analytical eye and, you know, read up, educate yourself and try to understand what are the, the, the baseline principles that all these habits are interacting with. Like again, if you have the behaviors of overeating at certain stages, it's like, okay, well, this is gonna interact with the principle of calories in, calories out. So you have to look at your diet as a whole and you know tweak things so that you can compensate for the fact that you know perhaps you binge eat every so often because of X, Y, and Z uh, stimulus input, you know, again, stress in work, whatever, you know? Like again, you just have to audit your behaviors and then you can facilitate future progress right so that's the takeaway from this video guys audit your behaviors if you say you want something and then you are not doing the behaviors that you know will lead to that outcome you, you, you don't really want that thing right if you are saying you want something and then you're doing all these behaviors that detract from you achieving your goal you don't really want that thing right so again you have to audit your behaviors and you have to be honest with yourself and perhaps again what you say you want and what you act you want are not the same thing and you can either work to you know make them the same thing so that again you either change what you say you want so that's more in line with how you want to act or you need to change how you act so it's more in line with what you say you want right so again you need to take a step back, be a little bit detached from the situation and then audit your behaviors. And again, this applies to your health, your wealth, your relationships, all of that stuff. Again, if you say you want to save 10,000 euro, 100,000 euro, and every single week you're eating out twice per week, spending 50 euro at each of those, uh, you know, uh, restaurants, then again, your, your behaviors are not congruent with what you're saying you want to achieve. Or it's going to be a case of, it's gonna take you longer to achieve what you say you want to achieve because again, you are not doing the behaviors that will lead to that outcome. You are doing behaviors that are detracting from that outcome. And again, that could be a trade-off that you are willing to make. You might think, okay, yeah, I wanna save 100K, but 
I do want to eat out twice per week. I'm a foodie, I really love food. Uh, this is how I bond with my friends, family, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You know, that's perfectly fine. You just have to be willing to accept that that's the trade-off you are making by doing those behaviors, right? So it might take you, again, a couple extra years to get to your savings goal as a result. And again, this is the same with your health and fitness. If you are not willing to eat the diet that would lead to the results that you want, and you know the, the appropriate calories for that, you know maybe you're like, look, I can't go into this 500 calorie deficit. I'm just too hungry. I just I'm too fatigued or whatever. And I also don't want to have to do you know increased amounts of you know uh, cardiovascular exercise to try to burn some extra calories. Then you are going to have to be okay with slower progress. You know again. If you say you're not okay with slower progress, then you have to compromise somewhere else. So again, constantly auditing your behaviors and actually looking at whether they align with your goals, whether they detract from your goals, whether they are potentially just neutral and you know they're kind of irrelevant for your goals, and um, but perhaps could be you, those behaviors could be better spent on something that actually does contribute to your goal. That stuff really does help you actually. <laughs> First of all, you know, ensure that you are actually aligned with what you say you want to do. Because again, like people say things all the time, but they don't actually act things, you know? So it really helps dial that in. And it also really helps ensure that you are actually moving towards your goal rather than just, you know, doing all these behaviors, never really being present, never really consciously making choices that align with your goals and just kind of letting life flow, which is, yeah, that's fine. But again, if you have goals, that's probably not the, the quickest or most efficient way to achieve those goals. Anyway, guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. It really does help the channel.